D design is, is both a subjective and an objective factor. Uh, you know, as, as the art in architecture is, is a subjective uh, perspective. It's something that when you see it, you know it. The history of Customs House started in the late 1800s. It was owned by the federal government since then, and they owned it all the way until 2013. They used it as a federal customs building. Basically packages, goods, boxes came here and were sitting here until people paid taxes on them. And so the original iteration of the building was designed very much in a defensive manner with large walls, small windows, and no real street interface. To have the opportunity to do something and to create something in such an iconic location uh, and with such history for our province, we had to start with a blank canvas and we had to assemble a team of extraordinary talented people to try to bring something that would be iconic for our city. You've got the Empress Hotel and you've got the Parliament Buildings. Those two locations and ours, the Customs House, will never change, they'll never go away. And it's been an absolute honor to have been able to craft this last part of the uh, Victoria Inner Harbour. So the building is 57 units total and Mark and I have what we're calling the developer's final release. It's the last eight units, there will never be any more. This is it, never lived in, just completed and uh, we're excited to be part of that. The beautiful thing about real estate I've noticed in my career is, is how real estate can evolve and better itself to the next generation. And what Jonathan and his father and Paul Merrick have done is they've created something that was a beautiful historical building. It's a part of the fabric of Victoria's history with the granite, the facade, and now it's been created into 57 wonderful rare homes. It's definitely a unique property with great legacy.